Hi, welcome to Projectopia. We all know that project reports are often confusing and tedious, especially when you are juggling multiple projects. You need a simpler process to keep track of your projects so you can focus on the important details and spend less time trying to recollect what's what. Projectopia is the perfect tool for project managers, freelancers, or business owners like you. This plugin will make your life a lot easier by giving you an overview of all your project statuses in one place and it tracks progress from start to end. Projectopia is packed with features. With Projectopia, you can keep your team in sync with a permission system that allows you to manage access levels for team members, easily track team progress towards milestones, send professional quotes and estimates to clients, generate recurring invoices with no hassle, streamline your workflow by assigning tasks to team members and track their progress in real time, and provide support to your clients with the support tickets feature. Let's streamline your process by installing Projectopia. Hover over Plugins, then click on Add New. In the search box, type Projectopia. On the result page, click on the Install button next to the Projectopia plugin. Then click on Activate. After installation and activation of Projectopia, you see a pop-up where you can opt in or opt out the notifications about any new releases of the plugin. Let's start by entering our company details, then click on Next. Then, let's fill our company emails and then click on Next. Now, select the currency you work on. Set the position of the currency. That is, if you'd like to see the currency before or after the entered amount. Finally, select Currency Code and click on Next. Let's fill in the details of your sales tax if you have it. If not, you can skip and click on Next. The final step is to integrate payment methods like Stripe or PayPal into Projectopia so that you can request payments directly from your clients using this plugin. All you need to do is to enter a public key and secret key of Stripe, click on the checkbox, and click on Save and Open Dashboard. If you want to integrate PayPal, enter the registered email address, API username, password and signature, then click on Save and Open Dashboard. Let's configure Projectopia. This is our dashboard, where you can find an overview of your projects, clients, payments, and leads. Let's start by adding team members. Hover over Teams on the top, then click on Team Members. Then, click on New Team Member. On the right side, enter the team member's details. Once done, click on Update Team Member we have successfully added a team member to our list. Let's add one more to the list. Now, let's verify if both our team members are listed by clicking on Team Members on the top. You can edit or delete any team member from here. You can see the complete details of your team members by clicking on their names to check out how many open tasks they have and which projects are they in. Now, let's add a clients list. Click on Clients on the navigation bar. To add details of the client, click on New Client. On the right-hand side, let's enter the client's details and start by adding the custom serial number for client, their company name, main contact person's name, and the other details that we have. Once you have added the details, on the left-hand side, you could keep a note about clients and you can add any documents slash files related to the project. You can also add an additional person's contact details, if any. You could add their financial details like billing email address, tax registration number, etc., which you can use to create and send an invoice through Projectopia. 
you can add a client type to help you differentiate between your clients. Let's say our current client is a tech company and needs our help in website maintenance. Once done, click on Add Client. Let's add some client notes for better understanding of the project. Once you've mentioned everything, let's go ahead and update the client. Let's add another client to the list. We have both our clients showing up on the list. After adding team members and clients, the important part is to have the Terms and Conditions template ready. To create Terms and Conditions template, hover over Projects, then click on Terms Template. Then, click on New Terms Template. Now, mention your Terms of Service. Then click on Update Terms Template. Once you're done with terms of your service, let's add some project details. Hover over the projects from the navigation bar and click on projects from the dropdown. Now click on new project. On the pop-up, let's enter some general details about the project, such as which client does it belong to, what is the start and launch date of the project, select if there are deposit amounts for this project, and select the terms and conditions template you want for this project. Once done, now we have to add a quick brief on the project so that everyone could understand the project. You could assign the project to your team members. You could add any milestones for the task. You can add slash edit milestones or mark them as completed. When you scroll down, you could see notes for the project which only you can see and no one else. You can add any files related to the project. If you'd like to discuss about this project, you can send direct messages. In a project, you can select to have a contract enabled or disabled. Also, you can set the type of the project. Once done, click on Update Project. When you go to the project page, you could see all your projects with the basic overview of the project. Once we've updated the project, let's create an invoice for it. Hover over Invoices and then click on Invoice from the drop down menu. Now click on New Invoice. Enter the invoice details like invoice number, invoice date, and select the client. Add the item slash services you're providing. Once entered, click on Update Invoice. As you can see, the invoice is sent to the client directly, saving us time. That's not all with invoices. At times, you might need help with recurring invoices where you have a client who needs the same services for a long time. This is one of the premium features where you can set up recurring invoices for a client and the process to do it is almost similar. Now that we learned to create invoices in Projectopia, let's try creating quotes slash estimates for a new client. Hover over Quotes from the navigation bar and then click on Quotes. Here, click on New Quotes slash Estimates. On the pop-up, enter basic details for the quotes. Now add the project brief. Add any files if you'd like to share with the client. Add any milestones as per the plan. While sending a quote, you could message someone to notify them. Once you've entered all the information, preview the quote or send it to the client by clicking on Send Quote Slash Estimate. We have created and sent a quote successfully. Let's create a lead form so that others could acquire about our services. Hover over the Leads tab on the navigation bar, then click on Leads Form from the drop-down menu. Click on New Lead Form. Select the kind of form you're creating. Using Form Builder, create a leads form by using the drag and drop feature. 
Once you're done, click on Save. Since our form is ready, let's integrate this into our landing page. Copy the short code for this form. Go to your WordPress dashboard and click on Pages. Since I don't have a landing page, let's create one. Click on Add New. Add the title and add the element named Shortcode in the page. Now paste the shortcode that you copied and then click on Publish. Let's preview the page to check if the form is working fine. Now, when someone needs support, you'll receive the details in real time. To check the inquiries, hover over the Leads tab and then click on Leads. Here, you can see the leads who have inquired about your services. You can later edit it as per your requirements if you need to. Let's assume a situation where we get a direct call from some clients. How can you add these leads in here? It's a simple task. Just click on New Lead, fill in the details as per the conversation, and add the type of client. And that's all. You're done entering a manual lead. That's pretty much about it. Let's check out our dashboard to get an overview. As you see, all the details that you have entered Everything shows up here as a quick summary, saving you time. You can view the projects, clients, team members, pending invoices, quotes slash estimates, and even your earnings from the clients. Cool, isn't it? Well, that's all for this video. Let's catch up on the next one soon. Stay safe and good luck on managing your projects.